All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game, and this game is going to be between Infi versus Colorful, taking place here on Terranus Stand. Over here on the bottom right, we have, well, Colorful spawning as the blue night elf, going up against Infi, who has spawned as the red human. Infi games have not disappointed as of late, as Infi has been able to um, use interesting and unorthodox strategies to defeat his opponents. Um, I can't even even use the term cheese anymore because Infi's strategies, um, as opposed to being uh, uh, reckless and, and, and odd, he executes them still at a very, very high level. He's not going for any sort of like Dark Ranger first with, an, with human type of play, but he is still somehow able to effectively um, get the most out of all of his units. We'll see if that continues to happen here. Interesting uh, building placement coming here, perhaps trying to make it so that there is um, more room to maneuver you and more place. uh, more you places build. to build your own towers and your own buildings, your arcane sanctums behind your own friendly lines. We are going for... All right. Um, Blood Mage first, uh, coming in from the Night Elf, going up against a Warden. Now... Uh, well, Colorful using the Warden. Warden has been a very powerful hero, especially on maps like Terranus Stand. There are these gaps here, which you can in fact blink across um, from one side to the another, making harassment extremely, extremely powerful. Human players often want to try and set up fast expansions. However, we've all seen the Warden being able to get to level five rather fast and then follow up getting to level six after you know quaffing an anti-magic potion and being able to stay under arcane tower damage a bit too long and then using fan of knives to uh, finish off all of those peasants there warden now already on the move archer getting that lightning shield and says thank you very much i'm just going to stand amongst all of you and you are going to be the ones dealing the majority of your of the damage to yourself you can take a look at that that archer perhaps is going to be shifting off down to the side here footman wants to get in some damage forest troll shadow priest was quickly quickly hired up as you're going to see a big fan of knives there making sure that none of those units um, were stolen warden going to try and chase after those units their cloak of shadows not the best item at all for the night elf but then again having the option to shadow or excuse me hide during the day is extremely helpful still moving back off to the north here blood mage um what did he spend his mana on perhaps it looks like it was banished first as we're going to look at them trying to engage here blood mage just standing d d doubling back and forth we're going to see well a an apprentice wizard easily taken out there it goes getting up to level two siphon mana but then well there is that shadow meld once more all right um, trying to trying to get in some extra damage here. Perhaps we're going to get some Siphon Mana back off from the other side. Perhaps Fan of Knives. There's that Fan of Knives and Blink. Fan of Knives steal. And wow, one good play deserves another. And that use of Cloak of Shadows, I take it back. Very, very effective for Colorful Strategy. I thought this was already Nightfall, but that was the Warden using that Cloak of Shadows early on to harass the Blood Mage. All right, in comes a bit of damage now. Are we going to see that strategy repeated? once more siphon mana not needing to be used as the blood mage is already maxed out on mana here footman gonna take another volley nope does not look like it as the warden now tries to retreat back all right warden gonna make its way through go after that apprentice wizard take down that or grab that mantle of intelligence meanwhile wisp it looks like it could end up getting taken down down to 15 hit points able to escape just in time are we gonna try and hire up some more units as we're gonna get some siphon mana away from that warden warden now out of mana now what is gonna be ending up happening are we perhaps gonna be looking at a banish onto that one particular unit there's that banish onto the forest troll shadow priest the forest troll shadow priest can now heal itself up rather heavily as the blood mage is constantly just denying any sort of um kills here all right however one footman looks like it is about to get taken down there it goes four show shadow priest is back ready to go again as damage is starting to add up all right footman archer gonna get taken down there it goes there is another banish there goes another footman once more four show berserker perhaps gonna try and back away footman gonna get taken down and well this is still a strange strange battle as an archer quickly what loses its life they're trying to focus onto that blood mage warden almost at level three blood mage sitting comfortably at two no expansion coming in but what is that 
Blood Mage really looking to do as it text to tier 2 and now we are seeing perhaps a blacksmith upgrade for some riflemen. Blood Mage going to try and engage here. A little bit of damage. It looks as though the Warden going to be able to easily engage there once more. Archer's trying to, well, get all the way back. For Shroll Shadow Priest should be trying to heal that Blood Mage more than anything else. You don't want that. Your Well, the Force Shroll Shadow Priest is not going to really be dealing that much damage as we're going to try and engage here. All right, Potion of Greater Healing. Gonna well, Is he going to force his opponent to try and use it? There's that Siphon Mana. And, well... It looked like he tried to blink and was unable to do so. Potion of Greater Healing finally used there. And are we perhaps going to be looking at a banish onto that unit once more? All right. Triple Forest Troll Shadow Priest. A Forest Troll Berserker Goblin Alchemist. And, well, a Goblin Alchemist in, in play here. Ready to go. There is that healing spray trying to heal up the remainder of all of those units. Banish also adding in a bit of additional healing. But, well, not being able to banish enough right there. There is another site. Excuse me. Another Siphon Mana will only be blocked by a Shadow Melt again as the Blood Mage sits at level 2 trying to chase back the other direction. Blood Mage Alchemist coming in from Infi. And what is the long-term strategy going to be? Uh, Alchemist is a very mana-intensive hero, so he's getting the Blood Mage and um, should work out well. However, the Ancient of War actually in a tough spot right now, not going to be able to reroute itself. And as this Ancient of War gets taken down, what's going to end up happening? All right, Four Shoal Shadow Priest all trying to head back. Four Shoal Berserker is right there as well. Warden may be able to get that final shot there as the units are now in a massive run once more. Alchemist being forced to double back around as there was a slight wall of units. Body blocking there, beautifully done once more as the units are now trying to get away from Forest Troll Shadow Priest looks like it is going to end up getting healed. And that is a really great effect. That Banish ending up giving a little bit more healing as the Ethereal units being able to heal uh, significantly more when they are in the Ethereal Realm. All right. Forest Troll Berserker looks like it is going to get sniped down there in just a moment. Units now trying to back away. Forest Troll Berserker down to 47 hit points and still able to run away. Meanwhile, more damage getting added in off on the other side. Forest Troll Berserker is pretty much going to suicide himself on that creep camps there as the blood mage has made its way back down archers trying to heal back up able to heal from those moon wells as they are now back at home units going to be perhaps trying to shift back once again ancient of war is not there any longer only going to be seen or ancient of war dual ancient of lords are the only ways to train up units at this point meanwhile looking at the human base we do have a single arcane sanctum and are training up more riflemen again rifle casters force troll shadow priest one already getting taken down another already down to about half life after one fan of knives blood mage now trying to shift back up to the north again as the riflemen just playing this weird game of push and pull trying to well, take down some of those units healing spray um, well, constantly healing up your units still back at home. Blood Mage is in position. Siphon Mana, there is that Cloak of Shadows being used rather effectively again as the, well, the Druids of the Claw are, are trying to get the Tree of Eternity. Are we going to see a Siphon Mana? Yes, we are. Siphon Mana again. There is a quick roar right there, losing, uh, using up much of that mana again. All right, Blood Mage in a little bit of trouble. Was not expecting that Warden to be having that Cloak of Shadows right at the front. Perhaps a Siphon Mana into the Alchemist and then followed up by Healing Spray again. Rifleman Casters with, well, the Blood Mage just constantly top off that Alchemist for more and more healing. Infi's, I guess, old strategies um, die hard as we may be looking at a possible tower attempt. Blood Mage, what are all of these peasants being brought over here for except to be sacrificed to that Warden? The Warden having a lot there. Siphon Mana again. There is another Cloak of Shadows to break that there as we are now looking at an um, Arcane Vault trying to be built. Blood Mage could be in trouble. Blood Mage quickly banishes himself. Siphon Mana again um, as we are looking at more and more perhaps what is going on here. Healing Spray trying to finish off this Warden. Warden is still alive. We're going to see a rejuvenation on the Warden and that Cloak of Shadows. I take it back has been the MVP of this game that Warden being able to effectively use that hide ability throughout the matchup 
and and do a, do it at at, well, at a very high level. Priest now trying to heal back up as well. We are looking at four shoulder berserkers. Druids of the Claw are now back out onto the field. The warden gonna perhaps attempt to take down this arcane vault as the warden just wandering around in the back here. Alchemist st still sitting at level one after all of this time. This alchemist could end up getting taken down. Cloak of excuse me, cloak of shadows still having a profound impact as the alchemist uses a potion of healing to try and stay alive and does exactly that. Warden gonna go after that four shoulder shadow priest. Is he gonna? be able to go after it. It looks like it will be able to do exactly that. No, Warden perhaps shifting back around, not wanting to lose that Warden right there. All right, Bear is now making their way back down. 47 over 50 supply. Colorful is in the driver's seat of this game. He should be able to finish off Infi here in just a moment, but the Warden is low on hit points, and this is not how I believe Colorful thought he was going to be using the Warden in this game. All right, Warden now trying to back away. Blood Mage quickly, quickly uses a Banish on himself to stay alive. There's that healing spray going to be able to stick around a little while longer as the battle is still raging on. All right, there goes that scout tower again. Oh, Warden down to 83 hit points. Rifleman going to try and chase. Should not be doing that as the Rifleman while getting mauled to death by bears. There goes a Forest Troll Berserker. Phantom Knives coming back across. Siphon Mana perhaps from the Blood Mage giving in a little bit more hit points as another low hit point archer able to escape back again. All right, low banishing, trying to continue to save up those riflemen. Healing spray get, get being used once more as the Druid of the Claw able to escape at 73 hit points. Who needs Staff of Preservation if you're able to just constantly walk away your hit points when they are below 10% health? Alchemist continuing to try and keep all of these units alive and well. It looks like one Druid of the Claw may finally end up getting taken down. Level 3 finally at the 11 minute mark of this game as the Alchemist still sits at level 1. Siphon mana into the Alchemist. Blood Mage going to be able to even siphon mana even faster from the Bears and Warden. This does come as a little bit of a problem now as Colorful knows that he cannot easily engage with those bears. Those bears are often just going to be stuck in that form right there. There's that Cloak of Shadow Rejuvenation um, being used as well as... A, oh, what was that? It was trying to blink and it didn't blink anywhere as the Staff of Preservation is still on cooldown. Blood Mage here ready to go. Units are now trying to back away. Scroll of Regeneration also healing up once more. There is that Blink Fan of Knives healing spray after the Fan of Knives right there as the Warden is just lying in the midst of all of those units. The Force Troll Shadow Priest should perhaps be trying to heal itself at that point. If it is banished, it is going to be rather effective at healing itself there. All right, continuing to battle it through. There goes that Moonwell. Units are going to try and back up again as the Peasants could have been building towers off to the side 48 over 30 supply there you go as the engagement now about to rage on here all right riflemen going straight after the dryads dryads however 53 hit points able to back up again more siphon mana and where did that warden go warden anti-magic potion going after all of those riflemen off to the side there was another um, abolish magic to remove that anti-magic potion there as the alchemist continued to, to do what he does best which is just spraying all of that um well spraying all of that healing spray across Cross all of those units again. Druid of the Claw getting ready to engage. Blood Mage could be in trouble. Blood Mage quickly uses the Scroll of Town Portal amongst all of those units there, down to 35 hit points, and it looks like they will be able to live and fight another day. Back off to the north. Well, Rifleman going to finish off that Wisp right there. Are we going to see Siphon Mana? I do believe so. There is that Siphon Mana. Forest Troll Shadow Priest not going to be able to do that much healing. Then give all of that mana back over to the Alchemist. Alchemist is then going to be able to healing spray all of these units again. As the Blood Mage down to two or up, back up to about 200 hit points already. Meanwhile, the Scout Tower down over here will get cancelled out. We are looking at 47 supply once again. Infi sitting at 47. Both sides uh, pretty much even at this stage in the game. Alchemist, well, Illusion now making its way out to perhaps and, and cause a little bit more harassment. Forest Troll High Priest siphoning all of that mana away pretty quickly. Should be able to give that back to that Alchemist here in just a moment. And which in turn will be able to heal back all of these units once more. Now the problem is that the priests here do not have Brilliance Aura. So those priests are constantly low on mana right now. And I don't see any signs of Tier 3. Alchemist down across over here. Bears are trying to try and engage. Warden sitting at level 4. Getting very close to level 5. As the units are once again on the move. 
All right, Renegade Wizard, Rogue, all of these units looking to back up once more. Low hit point Rifleman, Lightning Shield onto that Rifleman right there. Quick, Dispel Magic. Alchemist wants to get to level 3. There is another... An well, there's a Blink Phantom Knives trying to finish off all the units. At level 5 now on the Warden as he sucks away, which takes away mana from his opponent once again. Are we gonna? What are we going to be looking at here? Renegade Wizard, does he get the experience? No, he does not. Does he get the items? He does, as the Warden is still amongst all of the units. Now, he does have the Scroll of Beast, which will most likely just be sold as the Warden able to blink out of the tight scenario. Pendant of Energy, Tome of Strength being left behind here. And is it going to get a Staff of Teleportation to rejoin in on the fight? Yes, it will. Going to go ahead and try and teleport back down to the south. Meanwhile, Alchemist wants to get to level 3 first before pushing, knowing that the level 2 healing spray is going to have a profound impact in the game. Level 3 on that Blood Mage, still trying to finish off more units. Units are just walking back and forth as the Warden getting into position. Staff of Teleportation out of mana. Where is it going to go? Uh, try and picking up all of that Moonwell juice and then, well, going to go ahead and head back on out. Moonstone also being used, going to go ahead and back up once more. Alchemist finally at level 3, Devotion Aura here ready to go as we're looking at the warden he's going to sell that item and then perhaps try and pick up that pendant of energy and tome of strength off to the side there all right there you have it picking up come on pick up the pendant of energy now up to 510 of mana blood mage gets up to level four assassins are going to get cleared up here two one upgrades on the riflemen and all of these priests here as the units are now making their way back down meanwhile Warden sitting at level 5 really wants to go after perhaps um, some units and get to level 6. Bears, that is a large number of bears right here. Are we gonna, perhaps going to see a banish or a slow, anything like that? Nothing to, uh, will slow down one of the druids of the claw and make it easier to take them out. In comes the Warden. Warden going to be able to blink back in there. No, Goblin Zeppelin purposely overhead being able to pick up all of those peasants the instant it spotted that Warden now. Units are now trying to make their way back out. Perhaps going to do a, just a big, big rush on the Night Elf army. Blood Mage, maximum mana. Alchemist, near maximum mana as well as the units are going to be ready to engage here in just a moment. No units looking to back up. Where are all of the units trying to fight and engage here? Alchemist is getting into position, trying to lead that front line spot. Meanwhile, the Dryads and the Warden are going to be making their way off to the north. The Warden going to go ahead and teleport on inside here as they're ready to engage. All right. Fan of Knives, though, Staff of Preservation. Warden saves one low hit point bear. Dryads turning back around, finishing off, or Rifleman tr finishing off the Dryads back on the other side. Warden currently with an Abolish or Anti-Magic Potion. Going to be difficult to finish off as a big Fan of Knives deals damage to a lot of those units here. Another healing spray being used as the Alchemist tries to back up. Blood Mage is going to be able to survive all of this here as the Riflemen are just in a massive retreat back. Riflemen getting taken down. Healing Spray not fast enough as the Bears are constantly able to get into position again and again. Blood Mage is going to be able to save any of this here as the Alchemist currently using a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability and trying to heal back up again. Priest low on mana as I mentioned. They're not able to heal up continually as before as the Siphon Mana getting, well, trying to get back into that Alchemist to try to heal up the remaining units. Riflemen looking to finish off some more of those units low hit point units constantly just getting backed away as the alchemist now under 232 hit points still able to stay alive low hit point bears are just simply able to walk away and, th and then the other bears are just forced to try and fight another target staff of preservation saves there as a fan of knives goes across blood mage could be in trouble scroll of town portal being used banished to try to save off another number of units but the warden gets to level six as the warden gets to level six colorfuls says well, Infi says GG, throws in the towel knowing that that is just going to be far too much. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, what Warden with a Cloak of Shadows, the item of the hour, going up against a Blood Mage first with the Goblin Alchemist. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.